featured on um, Amazon and eBay. I'm not looking around so I could uh, what I could basically buy while we're in lockdown, and uh, I come across this uh, little folding grill. I'll show you. It's called a Redland um, camping folding grill. Uh, stainless steel. Comes in a nice little bag like this. And basically it's a small grill that falls out and it's ready for going over your fire. Now on Amazon it was $16.99 and considering that um, things are on a little bit go slow with um, deliveries and stuff like that it only, come, it only took about three or four days to come from Amazon which I thought was um, quite good considering that uh, everything's um, on lockdown. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an overview of what I think or how this thing works. So. I've um, done some skewers of chicken, um, peppers and onion and I'm going to point over this little fire that I've got going. There's me folding out um, campfire table. Uh, if you've not seen it before, this is stainless steel. I've used it a few times as you can see. The beauty of this is when you use, fire, uh, when you use um, wood on it, there's not much ash falls through, if any at all. I've decided to uh, set the fire going with um, some timber and put some coals on to see... Um, how this thing stands up as well. Right, let's go and get the skewers out and um, cook some chicken. Right, I've put it about, I don't know, six inches above the coals itself. It's quite warm there and it's very hot there, so let's see how it goes. But um, if it doesn't cook properly, then I can just take the bricks away, basically. That's a bit closer. Not ideal, really. But um, see what happens. Would people say harder? Yeah. I know you can't smell it, but that marinated uh, sauce was reggie reggy sauce and it smells absolutely gorgeous, so I can't wait for it to poison myself. <laughs> well, things are slowly cooking. That looks as though it's nearly ready anyway. Um, but I've noticed that um, nothing's sticking to it, actually. Nothing at all, so um, that's a plus. Consider it's marinated. The uh, chicken, nothing sticking, you know marinators like it, it'll stick to them in anything. But the racks are doing really good, so, so far, thumbs up. Reggie reggie sauce. Absolutely blinking, love it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Right, so that's the skewers done. Uh, I've got some marinated chicken left over, so I'm going to fry it in a pan. <coughs> I've ended up putting some timbers on it because the embers are getting a little bit cool. So um, I'll start cooking this up here. As you can see now, it's cooking with uh, some wood. So we've used the rack for um, putting skewers on with chicken and um, onion and um, peppers. We've done that and then we've cooked some chicken in a pan on the rack itself. And uh, we've done some uh, Greek style flatbread. So um, one more thing I'm going to put on it, I think, um, would be, uh, I'll give it a try the sausage, I think. This sausage is sort of average size, I suppose, and it's with being the skewer in it, it's just straightened it out. Uh, and you see these slots here, it just sort of sits in the slots, so you can actually do the four sides of a sausage if you want to class it as four sides anyway. Well, looks as though the uh, sausage is cooked. Red hot, let's to ha ha, let's try it. Ah, sugar and spice. It's proper hot, eh? greasy. Yuck.
Well, that's cooked. <laughs> well, that uh, sort of concludes the cooking for tonight. Um, so, this little rack here now has got um, some tar on it off the uh, off the timber. Uh, it's got some fat off the sausages. It's got a little bits of um, uh, little bits of chicken. And it's got little bits of pepper, a little bit of onion. So it's had different mixes on it. To be honest with you, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave it till tomorrow. Let the fire, which is left, can you see it there? Uh, let it bake it on hard, and then I'll give it a clean tomorrow and see how good it comes up. Well, I've cleaned it as best I can. Oops. Um, I've got majority of uh, the stuff that was stuck on. A bit more scrubbing, yeah. I've used um, just a normal uh, hot water uh, and a little scouring sponge. I've been through three of them things. I tried it with just normal water at first. Then I tried it with a bit of soap and water. Uh, and then I tried it with uh, salt in it for uh, 10 or 15 minutes. And then uh, one of my neighbours said, put a bit of salt on it, on your sponge or scourer. And do that and the salt actually was quite good to be honest with you but um the rack itself um it was all right and like i said i already paid 16.99 for it and um it wasn't the ideal way of actually doing cooking things the way i set it up especially on that table it uh, wouldn't sit on it wouldn't sort of sit properly it fell off anyway so i ended up putting some thermal light block and some brick on uh, the brick was a little bit too high, won't get enough heat off them, uh, off them, uh, off that charcoal. So I dropped it down a little bit, and I did that. So uh, it seemed to work. Uh, it cooked everything. It was really good, and nothing stuck to it, which I thought, you know, to the rack, I thought that was all right. Uh, and I late bake overnight, and hence I've scrubbed it. So maybe I should uh, clean it a bit earlier. Um, my opinion. It's only an overview. I've only tried it once. It works. It worked for me. Uh, it will probably work better with a, another fire system, i.e., you know, like a fire on the floor uh, on the ground. I can pour it over the top, like you know, a lot of people have done before. But for me, uh, it was all right. I can use it again. Um, I think it would work in. Uh, it would work quite well in one of them. The uh, like a fire pit with like a dish that would sit over the. Um, it would sit perfectly on that. I reckon. It's all right for what it was. It looked all right. I only can do an overview because I've not it long enough. Is it going to warp? I don't know. Is the uh, is the thing going to fall apart? I don't know. But anyway, you've seen what I've done. It's entirely up to you now what you decide to do. I'll put links in the bottom, as I said before. And um, if you fancy buying one, brilliant. Then, you know, if you don't, then you don't. As simple as that. You know, This is why I watch other people's reviews to think, you know, is it worth buying it for me? Uh, so, eh, long term, who knows? Short term, it seems all right. Hopefully, this video has helped you in some way or another. If you want, if you're thinking about buying one of these racks, uh, and um, hopefully you're gonna have a good day. And hopefully, I'm gonna see you on the next video, whatever it may be. Okay, see you later.